first guest is a hilarious comedian who made his mark in the hit show Mike and Molly. Yeah. And his sitcom success continues as the fifth season of Bob Hart's Abishola premieres tonight right here on CBS. Take a look. You can't use a country as a timeout. <laughs> it works. My brother's son started skipping school and calling his father Pops. After six months in Nigeria, he returned with the dead eyes of a respectful son. He was traumatized. And he became an accountant. Does my taxes. But this is Delhi we're talking about. He doesn't need to be fixed. You raised a smart, responsible dancer. Up, can I just give you props, though, because, um, you know, it wasn't lost to me that you did the Got honorary Nigerian yes, greed. Yes, sir. Uh, so that was pretty cool that you're so involved in the Nigerian culture Calais, that way. my man, Calais. Oh, look at oh. you! Look at this! Oh, God! Yeah. 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 Right, Tommy, Tommy right. Yeah, right. I'm going to start That's calling you White Nigerian, man. Uh, I love A you. new show look. on CBS, <laughs> The White Nigerian. I love it. Well, look, uh, the Super Bowl was yesterday. Whoa. It was big time prime How time hard showtime. How was that for you to watch the Chiefs win? Don't lie. You're you know a what? Raider. No, no, You're I, a Raider. I, I, I know, lie. but as a football fan, I yeah. could appreciate it. I, I didn't have any dogs Great. in the fight, but I could appreciate a good, you know, a good matchup. Yeah. You didn't have your dogs in there. How uh, hard was it for you? Because well, I know you're a Steelers guy. I have to connect everything back to the Steelers, and if the Niners would have won another Super Bowl, that would have tied them with us in New England for six. So I was on my homes and uh, cleaned up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, Miss Billy, we got to talk about Monday yes, Night Comedy because yes. this is the premiere tonight yes. of the fifth yes. season Thank of you. Bob Hart's yes. Abishola. Thank you. Which is huge. Yes. Um, and you guys are no longer newlyweds on the show. No. So how are you enjoying married life now? It's wonderful, man. And the beautiful journey of this show has been to show that, look, man, People are from different places. People look different, but love is love. Yeah. And that, 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 that is what I am most proud about this show. I've, I'm very proud of this work. I'm very proud of, of what we put in the air. And, uh, and I think it's, it's going to, I think people, even after it maybe goes into syndication, knock wood if that happens, but mm -hmm. I think it's going to have a bigger impact than people want because it's also puts, puts immigrants in this country in a better light, the kind of immigrant that wants to come here and work and build a life yeah. like we all do. Yeah. Like we all do. Yeah. Right. Like we and all. showing those different cultures yeah. and yeah. learning about those different well, cultures. Well, what you understand when you marry someone, doesn't matter, what, matter where you marry, you, you marry their family too. Yeah. 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 Right? Like, right. you heard yeah. the audience say, like, yeah. Because, yeah. you know, we, we all have that in-law that you're like, maybe I'll just go take the trash out. <laughs> you know? So, you, you know, and you have to navigate that Definitely. together to stay a couple. And I think we're in that sweet spot, and we're doing a live show this year, which we didn't get to do because of uh, the pandemic. So it's elevated the game even more, and it's, it's, been, it's been my honor to do oh, that wow. again. Is it that really nerve-wracking doing a live show? Not for me, man. Yeah, turn yeah. the lights on. Yeah, yeah, I turn them light. Okay. Love it, love it, love it. Love it, love it. Okay. That's the stand-ups in us, That's you know that. that. Yeah, absolutely. I'm on tour now, mm -hmm. and we still got a love for it. But you got a new movie called Vortex out, and it takes you back to your roots a little bit. I Tell do. everybody what it's about. I get to uh, play a stand-up comedian who's a house comedian in this casino who has a gambling addiction. Mm -hmm. And to kind of distract himself from that, he, uh, he's kind of the therapist for the other nuts that are in the casino. And it was, it was a little more dramatic than I've done before, so I was really excited to do that. My friend Richard Zalnicker directed it. It just got picked up for distribution, worldwide distribution. So um, it's, uh, thank you. It's, um, it's, 
the, the, the premise of the movie is there was a fire in the MGM years ago in the 80s, and no one knows how that fire happened. Mm -hmm. And this has kind of a spiritual, mystical, possible reason that that may have happened. So oh. I hope you'll keep an eye out for yeah. it and take a look when yeah. you do. Yeah. yeah, I like the throwback, too. The right? throwback, look at the clothes. The collar. Yeah, yes, the collar. <laughs> and Billy, you're actually like a huge classic movie buff, right? Huge. How would you yes. rate your movie trivia knowledge? Um, I, I'm pretty good. My, my dad, man, I owe my dad everything with that because I used to be, you'd walk through the living room and he was watching some old movie. Go, you ever see this? I go, no. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> That's Steve McQueen. This is the Cincinnati Kid. Uh -huh. And then our thing together was always we would pick classic lines out of a movie and then in conversation try to slip them in and it was just and now it's something I do with my son because he's in film school. Oh. Oh, so wow. that's it's kind of generational. It's just what yeah. we did. Yeah. Pass that down. yeah, exactly. That's you got me here. Yeah, yeah. So you, I like that. Do you yeah. have a favorite yeah. movie line? I have many favorite movie lines. Um, probably Butch Cassidy and the Sundance yeah. Kid is my yeah. favorite. Yeah. Where um, my favorite line is when Newman and Redford are on the side of a cliff and yeah. they can either go up against the bad guys or jump yeah. to this river that's hundreds of feet below, and, and uh, Newman says, I can't swim. Yeah. And Redford goes, hell, the fall will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great metaphor for life. Yes, you know? it is.